So our last option, our last task is uh, the same thing, but it won't be inside a container because it's touching the extreme, all right? So but it has to have four divisions, one, two, three, and four. But to do that, we just come here and we do a div class row. Once we have row sorted out, we can do call, hit enter, then we can duplicate it into four places, then we can start listing. So we can just easily, just as easily list our links like this, ahref. It's that easy, Udemy for, Udemy for business. Udemy for business. So that's it, and of course we need to make it bold. Make B. Bold. And uh, we're good. That's it, Udemy for business. But some other thing you have to observe is that there's a distance between this and the top. So we're gonna do um, on the row, we're gonna do padding top five, just to make sure that there is a distance. Oops, accidentally reloaded that. Then um, this is touching the body, it, so we can do a um, padding padding um, x three. So this makes sense, brings it out. So now the question is, how do, how do we put the second um, business, the second link below this one? Um, now there are many ways to do that, but I want to use the opportunity to introduce it to navigation. So if you go to your bootstrap documentation, go to components, click on navigation, you'll see this page. So navigation is basically how you just put navigation at the top of anything so but we're looking for this one's a horizontal we're looking for a vertical navigation this is vertical so we can try this vertical navigation we we'll copy it and um, i'm going to try it in the second column so paste just to see if it looks great for us so keep your eyes on we're here we reload and you see works best and if you come here you see about careers blog that's what it is so about we don't need it to be active careers blog so that's it we're going to remove the last one so basically so instead of us putting normally um you may have been tempted to do something like this break it and then add more links um like the links we have become an instructor mobile apps so uh, but it's best to use a standard nav that's what it's built for just for listing links like that so we can have become an instructor and instructor mobile now mobile apps sorry and um, um you do me for business you do me for business what of the B, what of the two? All right, so we're good. Reload. Uh, I keep reloading the, the, the wrong one these days. So reload. So we're good. Now, there are many other things you could do, like work on the spacing in between these two. 
and the, the color of the text all right so i will change the color of the text in the next video but here let us quickly round up um, let's add this topic support affiliate so we'll go to our code and copy this move to the next column i'm copying this next column so we'll do topic support affiliate topics support affiliate and the last one is a tricky one because um, it involves a drop down all right so i want to just go straight up if you go here you go to components and you will see on the, in forms you'll see forms then we look for select boxes select um, that's assuming it is there that's it so this is a select box um, where is it um, this is a select box so we can work with this select box and uh, remember it has to be inside a form so we can come here inside this guy and do form then we'll paste this select box then we're not dealing with a multi select so we have to remove this multiple there so we can come here and refresh Oh good, it's now here. So it makes sense. Now we need to actually change the naming uh, to English. We change the, uh, to the title to English. Is there a title? I doubt. I think the first option is what is English. English. That's the first option. I don't think there's a label. And then that's there is no label then we have to add an icon and uh, remember how we can add an icon that's a world icon globe icon okay so our icon is opening all right so here we can add a globe oh cool wonderful so click here to copy then beside English, you can paste the word Japanese. Um, time to hype my country, Nigeria, Yoruba. So if you are, these are some of the main languages speaking spoken in Nigeria, Yoruba, Hausa. There are three main languages in Nigeria. That is Yoruba, Igbo, and Hausa. So. But generally, there are over 100 languages spoken by different ethnic groups in Nigeria. But the Igbo, Yoruba, and Aosa are usually the, the biggest, you see? Okay, so now we, we've we sorted this. In the next video, we need to actually change the color. Look at the blue is not cool. The blue is too shouting, but we need this kind of blue uh, to work with, all right? And generally, we might uh, try to reduce the text size. Thank you very much. See you.